This video will help you install the VNS2420 wireless intercom station. Before beginning your installation, please make sure to have the following items nearby. A marker, screwdrivers, electric drill, drywall saw, level, and single gang mounting bracket. First, let's get familiar with the VNS2420 intercom station. On the front of the unit, there are the call and cancel buttons. On the back of the unit, there is a DC power input, USB port for programming, power backup battery if purchased, and the handset port if purchased. The VNS2420 can be powered using its power adapter, external DC power of 8 to 20 volts, or a 12 volt PoE adapter. The VNS2420 is designed to be installed on a wall surface 50 to 56 inches from the floor for easy operation. When selecting a location to install the VNS2420, make sure there is a nearby AC power outlet. If installed on drywall, it is preferred to run the DC power cable inside the drywall cavity and use an AC outlet at ceiling level. If needed, a 12-foot power extension cable is included with the unit. Verify that the selected installation area is clear of any electrical and HVAC lines. If an AC power outlet is not available, an alternate power option is to use a PoE solution to provide the power to the VNS2420 equipped with that option. When running the power cable inside drywall is not an option, the included power extension cable with the right angle DC jack must be used to provide flush mounting on brick or cinder block walls. It is recommended to use a surface mounted conduit to run the power cable to a nearby power outlet. Make sure to prepare the VNS2420 wall mounting base by opening the conduit notch at the top. Position the single gang mounting bracket about 54 inches above the floor and mark a rectangle cut on the drywall. The bracket should be mounted vertically. Use the drywall saw to cut a rectangle opening in the drywall and secure the mounting bracket to the drywall. Run the power cable into the drywall and pull one end of the cable outside of the mounting bracket. If using a PoE option, run the Ethernet cable inside the drywall and pull the RJ45 cable end outside of the mounting bracket. If using the VNS2420 with the handset option, run the handset coiled cord through the unit wall mounting base. Secure the mounting bracket to the drywall. Hold the VNS2420 and insert the power plug into the DC jack. If using the handset option, Connect the handset coil cord into the handset jack on the back of the VNS2420. If using the power backup option, make sure the battery pack is installed and connected to the charging port. Place the intercom station on the base and secure it with the provided locking screw. The installation is done and the VNS2420 is ready to be tested. 